Hello everybody and welcome to this world through. Here is Flavio from experimentaproject.com and this is Due, our piano library composed by two pianos, a C7 Grand Cola and a C3 Half Cola. The two pianos, they have really different tones uh, because the first piano, the C7, has a brighter sound and it really fits well uh, for playing jazz music, pop music, rock music. And the second piano, the C3, uh, it's really good for uh, cinematic music because the sound of this piano is really warm and uh, intimate. So it can be good for cinematic music or um, uh, intimate pop music. <laughs> so they are really different tones that can cover all your palette of genres. Due was recorded in Sibelius Academy recording rooms, really beautiful sounding rooms, and using only top-end gear as Neumann microphones and DPA and Shebs and really good equipment. And let's go through the pianos. So let's start from the first piano. This is the first piano, a C7 Grand Coda. And um, as you can see, we have three microphones positions. And Let's go through them. So this is the close. This is the player. This is the room. So we can mix them to create our customized sound. This is the main page, uh, we can change the tone of the instrument overall, sound. Let's go through the sound settings. Here we can change the envelope, so attack. Velocity, the velocity, velocity curve, so here we can shape. Here dynamics, we can change how much the velocity will affect the volume of the samples. Here the balance between the low and high register. And here we have two nice features, the repedaling option uh, and the overtones. So the repedaling is a resonance that we can hear uh, while uh, pressing the pedal after releasing the keys. So we have this effect because the, damper, the dampers of the piano, they don't have time to damper the strings, so they will continue to resonate. This feature, it's really helpful to make the piano more realistic and uh, playable, because if we do something like... we switch off so as we can hear uh, when the repedaling is off the sample is stopped when uh, releasing the pedal
overtones. The overtones feature is the sympathetic resonance of the piano. Let's go through the settings of the instrument. So settings here, we can change the release. Release. We are uh, round robin release samples. The resonance, so the resonance of the pedal. The hammer noise. So noise of the microphones and the pedal noise. So uh, layer, this layer is a feature that we added in the um, 1.4 version of this piano. So here we can uh, add a layer to the piano. So a noise layer or an instrument layer. Let's go through them. instruments so here we have bell and so this instrument layer feature it gives you a lot of possibilities uh, to your piano and you can really create new sounds uh, customize your sound as you want here we have cantele Harmonics of a fretless bass, <laughs> choir, guitar, harmonics of a guitar. Glockenspiel. Vibraphone. We can change also the format of the instrument, so we can make it bigger or smaller.
now let's go through the second piano. This is the second piano, uh, the, a C3 half coda. It has a warmer tone. Here we have two microphones, so close. through the effects. Here we have a reverb, convolution reverb, we, we can change the size and the pre-delay of the reverb, and here we have some uh, convolution impulses. So large room. And I really love Arena. Oh, I love this one. Here we have a compressor, so we can switch on and off the compressor by clicking here. And this parameter adjusts the um, threshold of the compressor. And these are just the ratio and the, um, the overall response of the compressor. Here we have a mix, so we can make a parallel New York compression. Here we have a transient shaper. Here we have an oldify, uh, which is a collection of some effects. <laughs> so it, it changes the background. Flutter of, of a tape. Wow. Here we can act activate a filter. And here we can change the peak of the filter. And here the frequency. This is a pen pass filter.
And here we have a, just a simple equalizer. <laughs> so uh, I, will, I will show you how to make a cinematic patch uh, from this instrument. So. So this is Due. You have also the lighter versions. They use uh, less samples and they are lighter in the, in the RAM, like also for the CPU. This is really helpful when you are composing something for, uh, with a lot of instruments and you need resources. This will help you to save resources without losing the quality of the piano. And uh, here we have some patches, some presets that we made for you. So let, let's just uh, hear some of them. So Eno reports. <laughs> In the sky. Also, the second piano has some patches, so a classical. I will stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, my piano skills are not the best in the world, I know, but... Due is available uh, as single pianos, so you can buy only the first piano or only the second piano, or you can buy both um, with a discounted price, mm. and you will receive also these bonus patches, which are some uh, nice soundscape patches. So let's go through some of them. Evolving balls.
Kann noch was schienen? And here we can play the layer instruments without the piano. So just the instruments. So in example, the cantele. This was Experimenta 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, and I hope to see you to the next walkthrough. Bye bye.